And tonight, newly released body cam footage shows the SWAT raid conducted by CMPD as officers looked for a suspect inside a home in East Charlotte. They spent seven hours looking for him, and he wasn't even there. CMPD says despite damages to the home, officers did follow proper procedure. Fox 46's Will Lewis went through the video and has the story tonight. CMPD releasing body cam video of a July 11, 2020 raid on Andorra Drive in East Charlotte. Police were looking for Trey McClendon. McClendon wanted for several warrants, and police say they were at the home days before the SWAT team responded. He was arrested there um, within a, just a few months prior uh, gun and weapon charges along with uh, uh, pe other people in the home, I believe. Cops got a tip from a neighbor. McClendon was in the home. When patrol officers arrived, they set a perimeter and then... Officers believed he was in the home, so they called for backup and more calls to surrender. This is Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department. Anybody inside the residence of 6550 Indoor Drive? It all started at 6 in the evening and lasted for hours. We're going to first try to talk people out. If that doesn't work, we are going to introduce munitions inside to make them into a communicative form or to come outside where we, where we control that encounter. Officers used tear gas, a robot, and finally SWAT moved in to clear the home. The house was empty. Damage to the home came from the tear gas breaching the door and one officer whose foot went through the ceiling as the team searched the attic. The response also caused a tense situation on the street. Oh, how long is this going to take? Nobody knows. The homeowners Nobody knows. telling police they gave officers the keys and wondering when they would be able to go inside. The home was empty. CMPD says that's rare, but better safe than sorry. Possible bad intel. The, the suspect could have gotten out of the house before, you know, before the patrol officers may not have had their perimeter as tight as they thought upon the initial. Uh, they said they heard voices. McClendon would be arrested days later at a different location. A statement from the attorney for the homeowner says his clients still feel this was an unnecessary military operation and that they have not been paid for the damage. Will Lewis, Fox 46.